We're magic and Radio Disney, our music. Te jiriga. What was the personal process to get that name? It was a long process. It was a very long process. I think to make an album like this that's very introspective, that's very healing, you have to go through a struggle, you know? There has to be um, something going on and, and I think we were all experiencing it because we made this album at the end of the pandemic. So, you know, there was a whole world of pain going around. Um, you know, this this album was created, I think, to not only give the world something that was positive and healing, but it was also to heal the band itself. And we're independent now. We don't need to do anything for anybody but ourselves and our band. And that's what we created. We created our true feelings, you know, our true self in the music. And I think we just grew up and wanted to give people something joyful, something that they could listen to and, and feel better, you know, and not just one song. We gave you an album of this. Um, and that was what it was about. It was a healing process. And now we're just out here enjoying it with a smile on our face. Do you think that in some way you have to heal or oh, healing um, this hit of Root? The fame of Root? No, well, not for me specifically, because, you know, as a songwriter, I've had many hits. I've written for many people. I know. That, I think it was more just the feeling invisible of it, you know, feeling like, you know, um, you don't see me, and then all of a sudden I sing the song to you, you're like, you're the biggest star in the world, you know, like you go, you go crazy. So, so I think it was two things. It was like, let's get back on tour and do what we do best. And, and then let's make music. Let's make music. That's great. You know? And so we have this song, I'm rich that is just, just feels like that same sort of strength. And, um, but now it's like a different style. It's like showing, showing the world that, you know, like we're just a creative act, you know, of mm -hmm. course, like we are right now very much branded as a reggae band, which we love. And, you know, it's kind of crazy that I could like, that I'm, I'm one of the voices of reggae of our time, you know, it's, it's really cool. But we also want to make sure that people know that magic has other ideas. And right now we're taking a break from reggae. What's the song of this record that you, as a band, dedicate uh, to your fans? I'd probably say Ballerina, you okay. know, from the album. Yeah, like, I think, like, fans need to know that you get a second chance, you know? Like, if there's something you dreamed of when you were a kid, you can still have a piece of that dream, you know? It may not look like it was, mm -hmm. but, you know, don't stop dancing, you know? And that's the message in, in that song, Ballerina. It's one of my favorite songs I've ever written. So, really powerful song, and um, man, does that song kill at the shows. Like, people just like fall into it, it's, it's so pretty, you know?